This is Sean Tice with Practical Advice for Life. I'm here today to talk to you about your calling. Your calling, your life calling. What has God called you to do? And I want to tell you that if you postpone fulfilling the calling God has on your life, it will be harder later in life to fulfill that calling. If you take time right now to fulfill God's calling on your life, it will be hard right now, but it will be easier later in life. And it's your choice. Which one do you want to do? Do you want to fulfill God's calling now and make it easier later in life? Or do you want to wait, postpone things, and make it harder later in life? It's your choice. What is God's calling on your life? The other day I was reading in Genesis 42, and I was talking about Joseph. And we've all, most all of us have heard of the story of Joseph, how he had many struggles, many family issues, things that went on within his family, uh, how they, they sold him into slavery, how he got into, a, uh, um, in, into prison, he put, put into prison and because of lies, and all these different things happened in his life. And here we are in Genesis 42, and it shows us that he's, he's the second in the kingdom, and he's, uh, he's a very prominent person now. And his brothers were, were supposed to uh, go down and get corn from Egypt. And it says here in G Genesis 42.1, when, Now when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, Jacob said unto his sons, Why do ye look one upon another? And Jacob's saying here, Why do ye look one upon another? Jacob's brothers, uh, I'm sorry, Jacob's sons were, were sitting around just thinking about, What can we do? You know, we're going to die soon. We don't have any food. And they were just ignoring the fact that they could go do something. They could go to Egypt. They could make things happen. And they were just sitting around talking about it, complaining about it, saying, you know, we're going to die. Our families are going to die. Instead of taking action. Instead of fulfilling the calling on their life. The calling on their life at that point in their life was to provide for themselves and to provide for their families. And they weren't doing it. And Jacob says, he says, why do ye look one upon another? Why are you just sitting around looking at, looking at each other? Go do something. Go do something. And I believe this relates so much with us today. How often do we just sit around and worry? Sit around and complain about the way our life is instead of taking action, instead of doing something, instead of getting on our, our knees and praying to God and saying, God, please help me, instead of going out and making things happen. How often do we just sit around and, and worry and complain? I'm not condemning you, but I'm asking you, do you do that? Are you fulfilling God's calling on your life today? If you're not, make things happen. I understand that sometimes, some circumstances, you know, due to health and things like that, sometimes you'd have, you have to sit around and wait around for things to happen. But many times, we're able to just take action. Take action and make things happen. I was, I was in college, and I was sitting in my dorm room, and uh, at that time, I just, you know, I didn't have any money. I was broke. And I, I was struggling big time. And it looked hopeless. And I was sitting around. And I, was, I was complaining. I was, I was just upset. And God showed me a verse. It says in 1 Thessalonians 5.24. Let me read this verse to you. It says, Faithful is he that calleth you, who also will do it. Faithful is he that calleth you, who also will do it. God's called you to do something with your life. He called me to finish school, and he wanted me to finish school, and he showed me. I knew God wanted me to be there at school. I knew God wanted me to be at that college. And he told me, I will do it. I, I will help you with it. I will guide you in it. God provided then a, a great job for me. I was able to pay for pay for the majority of my bills. I was able to take care of myself because of that job. God took care of me. And he'll take care of you if you fulfill your calling in his life. He will provide for you. He will guide you. He will help you along your life path if you just trust Him. What is your calling from God? What's your calling right now? If you're, if you're a teen, if you're a teen, your calling is to respect your parents. Your calling is to do your best in school. Your calling is to be a witness about Christ and to show Christ to others. Your calling is to serve God. Your calling is to do your best in your workplace if you have a job. Your calling is to honor God with your life. If you're a teenager, if you're an adult, if you're a parent, your calling is to do your best at work. Your calling is, is to be a witness for Christ. Your calling is to serve God. Your calling is to love your spouse if you're married. Your calling is to love your children, spend time with your children and your wife if you're married, if you have children. Your calling is to do these things. Your calling is to honor God with your life. Maybe you have been letting fear hold you back. Maybe you're letting fear hold you back. Well, tell, tell fear to shut up. Tell fear to stop it. 
Don't let fear hold you back. Maybe you've been letting apathy hold you back. Well, start caring. Start doing something. If God's called you to do something, do it. I'm telling you, if God's called you to do something, do it. Make it happen. You can make it happen. Jerry Falwell said he was the uh, Jerry Falwell was the the founder of Liberty, Liberty University, and this is what he said. He said, "Work like it all depends on you, and pray like it all depends on God. Work like it all depends on you, and pray like it all depends on God. You can do that. You can do that. You can work." Put forth the effort. Make things happen. And then pray to God and say, God, I need you. I can't do this on my own. I can't do anything without you. I need you, Lord, to provide. Pray and ask God to help you. He will help you. Are you working on your calling today? Are you praying about your calling today? Start fulfilling your calling today. Stop sitting around complaining about your circumstances. Stop sitting around and worrying about your circumstances. Get up. Do something. Make things happen. Take action. Fulfill the calling that God has on your life. Only you can do it. Only you can fulfill it. Do it today. Until next time, this is Sean Tice. Have a great day.